Hello, my name is Christian Alpen and today I'm going to explain how easy you can build your own patches in Sensor Music you see in Hollyhock. In Usine you have a whole lot of bunch of ready to use patches which can be found in the library. As you might already know, a patch consists of modules wired together. These modules located in the correspondingly named tab in the browser cover a wide range of different applications. For example, you have design elements like knobs, faders and switches to create your own custom interface designs. You have a lot of pre-built audio stuff ranging from usual audio effects up to FFT analyzing tools and sampler instruments, followed by MIDI tools to play and modify MIDI events. For advanced users, there is a collection of mathematical operations and, of course, you find a set of tools for controlling data like an LFO, steps, switches and random generators. If you select a module, you find a brief information about it at the bottom of the browser. For more detailed information, you can click on the More Info button. This opens a regular browser window and gives you access to the help system. Now we start building our own patch. Let's start with a sample player. Instead of browsing the modules by categories, you can search the library by keywords. Drag the desired module in the patch field and select the output setup fitting your needs. Here we will use a regular stereo out. Now we have a naked sample player which doesn't do very much. Double click the patch field to open the patch editor. As it would be nice hearing audio during playback, we will add audio outputs. Simply click on the outlet of the sample player, drag a wire on the empty space and select audio output from the menu. Next we need to make the player be able to play samples as loops. Choose the play loop inlet. Again drag a wire into the space and select a switch. As you see a corresponding switch appears in the patch window. Now we need some audio. For example a sample from the sounds library. I need a lockpick to open this. I need a lockpick to open this. If you want to play the sample reverse, no problem. Simply add a switch like before. I need a lockpick to open this and it call letting I need a lockpick to open this. I need a lot letting send this. Now we want the sampler's playback position to change randomly, triggered by each bar change. Like before, drag a wire from the appropriate inlet and select the step module. To achieve syncing to the bar changes, you need to add a combo box to the Synchro Inlet. Now you can select bar as an option in the patch window. That's it. Next we will add a reverb right into the patch. As usual, we want the dry and the wet signal. Search the library and drag the reverb not only in the patch editor, but on the wire between sampler and audio output. This makes a small rectangle appear. This indicates that the module is inserted in the existing wire. You see the advantage, to get the dry signal back we only have to drag two wires instead of four the other way around. Now we want to be able to adjust the room size so we add a horizontal fader in the way we already know. To clear up the patch field, click on the lock button. Now you can change position and size of the objects.
To complete this patch, we want the reverbs input muted randomly. Therefore, we find a mute and volume module in the library that can be inserted directly in the appropriate wire. Then we add a step switch to the mute inlet and tidy up the patch shield a little bit. That's all. With the next patch I will show you a nice feature which saves you a lot of time and effort during patching. So let's build a surround panel which sources move randomly. Like before, browse for a surround panel in the library and drag it in the patch field. Two inputs and eight outputs should do for this. Now we need to connect the audio outputs like usual. But it would be annoying to drag eight wires one by one. We can make use of Usine's multi-wiring feature and hold shift control on the keyboard while dragging the first wire. This creates wires for all eight outlets at the same time. The same we do with the audio input and, of course, with the random generators for the source position. So we made 14 connections with only 3 clicks.